Hi, how are you today? I'm Dave Soriano and I'm a chemistry professor here with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in northwestern Pennsylvania, USA. And uh, my area of research focuses on the so-called fiddler crabs, a very popular uh, uh, household uh, pet actually in the world. They live in brackish water or in sand and uh, estuaries, tidal waters, brackish water is what they require, not pure water or uh, ocean water. I use about a 20% volume volume solution of ocean water. And uh, I'm doing chemical ecology with so-called proteinoids, thermal polypeptides, first described by Sidney Fox, the late Sidney Fox, a biochemist in the 1950s. I basically, using modern technology, I prepare thermal polypeptides from the simple peptides, tri, di, and amino acids, and I thermalize. And of course, racemization of the L amino acids will occur to some degree under these conditions. And uh, I am, in particular, enriching the polypeptides in the amino acid tyrosine because the fiddler crabs express melanin content in their carapace the body, the outer uh, shell of the body, the entire surface of the animal, and it's diurnal. So the melanin pigmentation will lighten at night and then during the night it will darken in anticipation of a sunny day on the beach. So I'm very interested in knowing if they will ingest and metabolize these thermal polypeptides and if so, the ones enriched in tyrosine, will they have an influence on the pigment biosynthesis and expression. So anyway, what I want to show you here in this video, a uh, short video, is uh, a picture of a fiddle crab hole. They dig very, very elaborate holes. I was in today, it's a Sunday, I was in feeding them. And uh, in the laboratory, in the greenhouse, we have a 40 gallon and a 10, two 10 gallon tanks. But here in the laboratory downstairs, uh, I have a 10 gallon aquarium right now which has is housing uh, a single uh, male fiddler crab. Uh, this is a piece of driftwood from Lake Erie up in the uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, Presque Isle, um, about an hour and a half west of here. And I got that off of the beach a few weeks ago. And uh, here you can see the hole that has been dug within 48 hours by the male crab. His water supply is over here, as I said, brackish water, and I use play sand, and I slope it, uh, simulating a beach. And then I decided, well, let me go get a pocket uh, spy camcorder. You can get them on eBay for about $10, a little uh, spy pen. Um, it can capture JPEG and uh, video uh, footage. And I have a small pocket uh, LED flashlight. So I said, well, let me go and capture a little bit of video here. I might as well have it. There may be people that want to see that. So let's take a look. Short video. There's the tank. There's the hole. And hopefully you can see the crab in there. I'll have to work on this with better lighting. But uh, he's in there right now. That is him. Those are his legs. And uh, he's resting comfortably. comfortably. There's the carapace. So I've got that little spin, a spy camcorder right next to the hole. And I'll also be putting... Uh, I, I have uh, other mini camcorders. One uh, which is housed in a waterproof casing good to a hundred feet they say I put it in the campus uh, pool at 10 feet without a drop of water getting in so I'll be putting uh, that little camcorder in the what I call crab, uh, crab aquariums and that way I can catch footage at uh, sand level and even in the water uh, so that's it for this short video Brackish water, not fresh water, could be 10, 25 percent ocean water mixed with uh, fresh water. I use the laboratory distilled water, no chlorine in it. I feed them shrimp pellets. 
Uh, I think they eat about uh, perhaps 200 milligrams daily per uh, crab. Just put him right out on a rock there and he'll find his way to them. 10 gallon aquarium and that can hold about four crabs. And as I mentioned, I'll be studying the uh, thermal polypeptides. Will they ingest it? Will they metabolize it? And I will be analyzing the water, actually. That's where the crab excrement, like fish excrement, can go in the water. And uh, I'll be able to analyze that water and see, indeed, if the thermal polypeptide that's offered is showing up, passing through the digestive tract, unmetabolized, or whether it's broken down utilized completely or to some degree by looking for the amino acids comprising that thermal polypeptide. So I hope you continue to follow our work and uh, we have a webcam set up. Here's my contact information and at bamboozer.com we have a 24-7 webcam. You can find it uh, by typing in d.s.soriano s-o-r-i-a-n-o Right now, and today is the uh, 21st of April, 2013. I don't know what date was on that video footage, but it was probably inaccurate. Um, right now, the cam is simply showing the laboratory, but in the next day or two, we will be uh, using that Raspberry Pi PC and webcam um, to focus on that uh, crab who has that uh, hole that he's living in right now. And uh, you can follow 24-7. And also at U, uh, Ustream, ustream.com. And there you can find the aquarium up in the greenhouse, Dave Soriano 56. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye now.